Hear the stories behind the most interesting tech, told by the people who created it. And keep watching for a chance to win a bundle of Sony hardware. My name is Laura Al-Tantawi. I'm Egyptian. I was born in England, but uh, I definitely am Egyptian. My parents are Egyptian. Um, I grew up in, you know, in multiple countries in a way. And I think in a way that has affected my photography. I started photography when I was at university as a surprise. I was studying to become a reporter and I was doing a dual degree in political science. And then I took one photo course and I really fell in love with it. I'm very much energized by, by the moment and the spontaneity of things. In my everyday life, I photograph with my phone. When I'm working on a long-term project, I work either with a digital camera, like, you know, a standard 35 millimeter or with a film camera. But in my everyday life, I work with my smartphone and I definitely like the immediacy of it. I like the accessibility of it. I like that it's something I can pull out of my pocket. I like that it makes me, I'm invisible. Like everybody has a smartphone and everybody's taking pictures. So it's, it's very easy and uh, yeah, I'm definitely invisible. I feel more as an, as an observer. When I started out, I was shooting on digital. I hadn't really explored film photography. So for me, it came very late in my career in the last few years and it affects the way I photograph. I'm a much slower photographer. I observe more. I plan a little bit ahead, which is very different for me, the way I work. When I photograph with my digital camera, I photograph a lot. It's part of what I do. I mean, I stand and I observe and I identify situations that I want to photograph and I photograph a lot. I can, I can make, you know, a hundred images of one single situation. So for me, the editing is a very important part of my process. This has always been a very special image for me from the beginning. And my mom was standing next to me and, you know, it's always kind of a bit tricky to photograph in Egypt. So sometimes I would kind of, my mom would be like a prop. <laughs> and I would kind of be taking a picture of her or pretending, but I'm actually photographing something behind her. So I, we were kind of playing a little bit. So yeah, this is a really special image for me. It has a very special memory. I stopped using like uh, certain applications and now I just shoot raw from the smartphone itself, the smartphone camera. And I think that has become liberating and I think that's what I would recommend for people to do is not to rely on a lot of post-production and applications that do the thinking for you. Because I think that makes it too easy. I think you want to challenge yourself a little bit. And that's how the image becomes more rewarding. So just shoot raw and enjoy the beauty of failure and learning to work yourself away from there. Instagram has done so much to sort of changing perceptions in a way. And that's something I really appreciate. But uh, yeah, I think it's always good to continue to push the platform beyond what it's doing. Today it's interest Instagram. Tomorrow something else is gonna come and completely push it out of, you know, beyond Instagram. And I'm waiting for that. I think that's really exciting. You can't always take a full kit bag of camera gear with you, but we still want to be able to capture the moment when it happens. Features like time shift video for ultra slow motion footage or time shift burst mode on the Xperia Z3 from Sony means you can easily capture those high definition sequences. You can shoot in 4K too, which makes the image stunning and really versatile to edit. And everything is kept shake free thanks to Sony's steady shot technology. With the right device, you can take high quality photos and videos from a variety of perspectives, preserving both moment and memory as and when you need to.